When you think of the Philippines, you probably imagine beautiful beaches, vibrant festivals and lush landscapes. But did you know that beneath this tropical paradise lies one of the darkest and oldest legends in Southeast Asia? The Aswang, a creature so feared it has been part of Filipino life for centuries. In this video, we'll uncover the terrifying truth behind this ancient myth. Stay with me until the end because I will reveal a chilling fact about the Aswang that will make you question if these legends are just stories. Thanks for joining today's video. Let's start. So, you've heard of the Aswang, right? But did you know that this terrifying legend goes back centuries, even before the Spanish colonization of the Philippines? Long before the Spanish set foot on Filipino soil, the early Filipinos lived in a world filled with gods, spirits and monsters, where the Aswang wasn't just a myth, but a part of everyday life. People believed the Aswang could be anyone, a neighbor, a friend or even a family member. It became embedded in the culture with Quentong Aswang, Aswang stories passed down from generation to generation. But here's where things get even more interesting. When the Spanish colonizers arrived in the 1500s, they didn't just bring Christianity, they brought fear. They took the existing belief in the Aswang and weaponized it. How? By labeling local midwives, healers and shamans, often powerful women, as Aswangs. These women, once respected for their healing abilities, were now seen as servants of the devil. This wasn't just about spreading fear, it was about control. Much like the witch folklore in Europe, the Aswang became a way to dominate the local population. The Aswang's origins trace back to regional folklore, particularly in Bicol, where the tale revolves around two rival gods, Gugurang, the protector, and Aswang, a dark force that sought to destroy harmony. This story of good versus evil transcended centuries, and scholars even suggest it might connect to similar Southeast Asian myths, such as the Penangal, a flying disembodied vampire that preys on women. In fact, Spanish accounts like those from Juan de Plasencia and Miguel López de Legazpi reveal how the Aswang became a symbol of defiance, feared by the people but never fully conquered by the colonizers. In some versions, the Aswang was even a protector of the community, like an avenging creature who punished wrongdoers. This paints an intriguing shift in perception. Could a fierce creature like the Aswang become a symbol of power when faced with a larger enemy? Despite centuries of demonization, the Aswang persisted. It evolved in Filipino society, becoming both a symbol of fear and resistance, featured in films like Tik Tik, the Aswang Chronicles, and horror stories like Trece. Even today, it continues to haunt the imaginations of Filipinos. We're just getting started. Remember, I'll reveal a shocking truth about this myth by the end of the video. You probably think the Aswang is just one terrifying creature, but here's something most people don't realize. It's not just one. It's many. There are over 260 mythical beings in Philippine folklore, but the Aswang is the most feared. When Filipinos speak of the Aswang, they are often referring to shapeshifters, witches, ghouls, or demons that devour humans. These creatures are referred to as creature features, often terrifying even the bravest. Let's break down some of the different forms the Aswang can take. Mananangal. By day, she appears to be an ordinary woman, but by night, she splits her torso in two and flies off, using her bat-like wings to hunt for unborn children. Tick Tick, named after the eerie sound it makes, this creature resembles a bird or bat. The terrifying part, the quieter the sound, the closer it is to its victim. Sigbin. Imagine a twisted combination of a dog, kangaroo and goat walking backward, feeding on the shadows of its victims. Sigbin stories are common in Sitio Bangangot and Sitio Pangil, where people claim to have heard its strange backward footsteps in the night. Wak wak. This aswang flies through the night, its wings making a chilling wak wak sound as it searches for human prey. Balbal. Less known but equally terrifying, the balbal feasts on corpses, replacing them with banana tree trunks in graves to deceive grieving families. Each of these forms has its own way of preying on humans, but the purpose is always the same hunt. Consume. Quentong Kababalagan tales of the supernatural about these creatures still haunt the Philippines today, and while some people believe these are just animated horror stories, others claim they're very real. While the Aswang is deeply rooted in Filipino culture, it's often compared to other mythical creatures from around the world. Like vampires in vampire lore, Aswangs are bloodthirsty and prowl at night. But unlike their suave and seductive counterparts, the Aswang is monstrous, grotesque, and primal. 
the Aswang's ability to shapeshift resonates with shapeshifter legends like the werewolf, both emphasizing a loss of humanity. But the Aswang's transformations are more varied and in many cases even more unsettling. Much like ghouls in Middle Eastern mythology, the Aswang feasts on the dead. However, the Aswang's ability to transform adds layers of terror, making it unpredictable. Like witches, the Aswang is linked to dark magic and shamanistic powers, connecting it to the superstitions that defined pre-colonial and colonial societies. What's fascinating is how this dark tale blends different mythologies, suggesting that the fear of such creatures may be more universal than we realize. Now, let's fast forward to modern times. You'd think the Aswang was just an ancient legend, right? But to this day, people claim to have encountered these creatures. True scary stories continue to emerge, often from rural areas like Sitio Pangil or Sitio Bangungot. Here are some true Aswang stories that might make you think twice about dismissing the myth, the Mananangal in Capiz. A young couple in Capiz reported hearing strange flapping noises outside their home one night. When the husband went to check, he saw a figure flying above their house, half human, half bat. The next morning, his wife, who was pregnant, suddenly fell ill. Locals were convinced it was a Mananangal trying to feast on the unborn child. The Tik Tik in Cebu. In 2019, a farmer in Cebu reported hearing the eerie Tik Tik sound while working late in his fields. As the sound got quieter, he began feeling an unshakable presence near him. When he turned, he saw a large bird-like creature watching him from the trees. He fled, leaving his tools behind, convinced it was an Aswang. Sigbin encounter in Davao. A family from Davao claimed to have seen a strange creature with glowing red eyes lurking around their home at night in 2020. It resembled a dog but moved oddly with a backward gait. Local elders warned that it was a Sigbin, preying on the family's shadows and the family took precautions, lining their home with garlic and salt. The haunting case of Maria Labo. Maria Labo's name still haunts the people of Capiz. Her story begins like many others, a kind, hard-working woman who left to work abroad to provide for her family. But when Maria returned, something had changed. Rumor has it that she was no longer the same. She was accused of being an Aswang and the horror doesn't stop there. The story goes that one day Maria's husband came home to find their children missing. What he found instead was Maria cooking something gruesome in the kitchen. Locals believe she had killed and eaten her own children. The tale quickly spread, and Maria fled into the wilderness where some claim she still roams, hunting her next victim. Whether this story is rooted in truth or simply fueled by fear and hysteria, Maria Labo has become synonymous with the Aswang legend, passed down from generation to generation. Could there be some truth behind her terrifying transformation? Or was she just another victim of a society gripped by fear? The fear of the Aswang isn't just found in stories. It lingers in places like antique storytelling sessions and haunted villages. In some places, like Sitio Pangal, Aswang sightings have become so common that villagers have developed protective measures. Reverse ladders and bamboo spears are placed to confuse Aswangs. Baleti trees, believed to be the gateway between the spirit world and the living, are where many say Aswangs lurk during the day. Mystical caves in the Visayas are rumored to be hiding places for the Aswang during the day. Bright fires are lit at night as Aswangs are said to fear the light. Even in today's modern world, the Aswang serves a psychological purpose in Filipino culture. Cultural myths like this help explain illnesses, tragedies or deaths, especially in rural areas with limited health care. These myths have helped shape Filipino belief systems, even as scientists suggest encounters may be linked to things like sleep paralysis or nocturnal hallucinations. When medical knowledge was scarce, it's no wonder people turned to the supernatural to explain their fears. These nighttime terrors become real-life monsters, reinforcing the power of the legend. But even now, the Aswang continues to hold sway over the imagination, especially in areas where belief in the supernatural runs deep. Why? The Aswang myth endures because it taps into deep societal fears. And now the moment you've been waiting for, the shocking truth. Did you know that the Aswang might not be unique to the Philippines? Some scholars believe it's connected to other Southeast Asian myths, like the Penangala flying, disembodied vampire-like creature from Malaysian folklore. Could these creatures share a common origin, or is it just coincidence? Either way, the eerie similarities are hard to ignore. 
So next time you hear something strange in the night, it might be more than just the wind.